Why did that happen now, to us? Know, uh, why did God allow that decide, to happen to us? Why did God, God allow anything? We I have, said, we, 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 God allowed anything he wants right to right allow. You know, we just ask that's me. That's great. What, All right? So God gives us paths in life. God allowed that to happen. Because he's God all by himself. He can do whatever he wants, shut it down. Just to bring the roots back up. Let's get the tree planted back again. Let's grow as an oak tree. Let's do that. Let's grow as men. Let's be those strong oak trees out here that have been out there for centuries. Let's bring our men back up. Men need to lift up men. That's right. Women lift up women. That's so that's right. So check this out. So there is a reason why oh all God. there is a reason why all this happened to us. Why? why? Because we're God's chosen people. That's right. Oh, Watch this. The Watch nation, this. the nation where God was even raised was black. Right. Watch, watch this. What? Brown skin. What? This is the book of Deuteronomy. Listen to this. Seven. This is what the Lord oh said oh in God. verse eight. But because the Lord loved you, uh -huh. and because He would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your father. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Go ahead. Have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand That's right. and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen. So he redeemed us out of the first Egypt. That That's was right. us, That's our right. people. Go ahead. From the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. This is modern day Egypt we're in now. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. Now know, therefore, that the Lord thy God, he is God, uh -huh. the faithful God, That's the right. keep of covenant and mercy with them that love him. And keep his command. So he keeps the covenant and mercy with those that love him and keep his commandments. That's what this is all about. We are breaking God's commandments. So he has brought all this evil upon us. Go ahead. Watch to, what he said. To a thousand generations. Uh -huh. And repay them that hate him to their face. So if you're not keeping his commandments, you're hating God. He's going to repay you to your face. Watch this. Go ahead. To destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hated them. He will repay him to his face. So he's going to repay us to our face for all our iniquities, our sin. Now, give me Deuteronomy 28. 28, 15. So he gave us his commandments and said, if you keep them, I'm going to raise you up above all people. That's right. But if you don't, I'm going to bring you down. I'm going to bring the other nations against you for your sins. Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if you don't listen to the voice of the Lord your God, because he's only our God. Go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments. All his commandments. Go ahead. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these curses are going to come upon his people. Are we being blessed or are we receiving curses? When our brothers get shot down in the street, is that a curse or is that a good thing? Bring it out. Uh, go ahead. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall you be in the city. We're in the worst places in the city. Right. We got the worst jobs. Right. Everything. Uh, it just We're ridiculed constantly. Why is the police shooting us down? They get away with it. Why is all these different things happening to us? Why are they feeding us the worst foods on the planet? We done, you look at Tupac, I mean not Tupac. DMX. DMX died at 50 years old. Prince Charles died at 99. Why is that? Go ahead, bro. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So we're cursed in the field. We were the ones out there picking sugar cane, cotton, tobacco, getting our backs whipped by the white man who the Bible says is our enemy. That's right. That's why they do this stuff to get away with it. Go ahead. Verse 17. Curse shall, shall be thy basket in thy store. So you're not going to prosper in your businesses. Go ahead. Curse shall, thy, curse shall be the fruit of thy body uh -huh. and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Now, give me verse 29. Watch this. Aren't we an oppressed people? Yeah, but my God. <laughs> I'm going to put that in there. But God, all by himself, all more, all more. Watch God. this, because I'm going to show you that God is bringing all this. God, God is bringing this stuff against us. He is. Go ahead, read that, verse 29. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 29. Hold on a second. Because you said all these brothers, young men, are standing up, and they're uh, protesting and doing all other kinds of things, trying to find a way for our nation to come out of the oppression. 
It's only one thing that's going to work. That's Watch right. this. Go Testify ahead. Testify and testimony. And thou shalt grow at noon day. As the blind grow up in darkness. So you're going to be wandering during the day as someone in the darkness. We're trying to find our way and we can't. The reason is we're not turning to our God. He's our God. We're not turning to him. We're going to everybody else except him. Give me um, Isaiah 30 and 30 and verse. Oh, give me 31 and 1. Bring it out. The reason is we look into all the other people that can't help us right. because God is sending all these plagues Hallelujah. upon us. That's right. Don't worry. You there? Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 31. Amen. No, verse 1. The first one. I think it's 31 and 1 is what I want. Woe to, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots right. mm -hmm. because they are many in the horsemen. All right, so woe to them that go down to Egypt, meaning you go going to the kings of the other nations for help and not to the king of Israel. That's right. You're not seeking Christ. Come on, Jay. Go ahead. Because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Right, so because America has a great army, our people put trust in that. Right. But they shouldn't be. You should be seeking the Lord. Amen. That's right. Chapter 30. Amen. All glory. Chapter 30 and verse 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, mm -hmm. said the Lord. Those rebellious children are the children of Israel. Right. Amen. Go ahead. That take counsel, but not of me. See, they take counsel. They listen to everything the so-called white man say, or everything the Arab man say, or everything the Chinese man say, but will not take hearken to the Lord our God. Go ahead. And that cover with a covering, mm -hmm. but not in my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Right. Trusting in the other nations, following the other nations, adding sin to sin. We got to repent. Go ahead, bro. You can drop that. Yeah. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 29. So we groping at noonday as someone groping in darkness. We cannot find our way. Go ahead. And thou shalt grope at noonday mm -hmm. as the blind grope in darkness. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And thou shalt not prosper in thy way. We're not prospering in our way. One or two people may prosper. But as a nation, no. We're looked at with ridicule. We're on the bottom of all people. Go ahead. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. Thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled forever, forevermore. Why? Because no one's going to save us out of this except Christ. That's why he's called our Lord and Savior. Our Lord and Savior. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. And no man shall save thee. See, no man shall save thee. The uh, Lord is going to save us. That's why he's called our Redeemer. He's going to redeem us amen. out of captivity, just like he redeemed us out of Hallelujah. Egypt. All glory. Goes to God. All glory. Now, give me verse Thank 45. You <laughs> right, bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 45. Read. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee. And shall pursue thee mm -hmm. and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Because right. The curses are going to overtake you until you be destroyed. This has been going on for hundreds of years because of our disobedience. Give me Luke 21 and 24. Go ahead, bro. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we're not keeping his commandments. Go ahead. To keep his commandments right. uh -huh. and his statutes which he commanded thee. So hold on for one second. So. All throughout the history of us, the Israelites, we have not kept the commandments correctly. So the, the Father sent Christ to show us how to walk in the commandments. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Walking in the commandments. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Thank give me, you. Give me, give me. Uh, Thank you, God. Oh, revelation. Thank give me you, Deuteronomy 11 and 22. I'm going to show you something. Thank you, God. Because to walk with God means to keep his command. That's what it means to walk with him. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11, and verse 22. Mm -hmm. if ye, for if ye shall diligently keep all these commandments, uh -huh. which I command you to, to do them, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to cleave unto him. 
Right. So to keep his commandments is to walk in his ways. Right, right. Uh, 1 Kings 8 and 61. That's what it means. So how can you walk like Christ if you're not keeping the commandments Amen. like he did? All glory. All glory to God. Uh, 1 Kings 8 and 61. Bring it out. For all glory. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8 and verse 61. Mm -hmm. Let your heart therefore be perfect. See that? Let your heart be perfect. Go ahead. With the Lord our God. Meaning you willing to do whatever it is he said to do. Amen. Go ahead. To walk in his statutes. See? To walk in his statutes. Go ahead. And to keep his commandments as at this day. So there's only one way to walk like Christ. That's to keep his commandments. He was what? Perfect. Meaning he committed no sin. All right, you can drop that. Go back to Luke 21. Uh, go ahead, bro. All right, I got 46. Yeah. Right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. Uh-huh. So the curse is going to be upon you for a sign and a wonder so that you know that you're the children of Israel. Go ahead. And upon thy seed forever. And upon your children forever. Go ahead. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyful uh -huh. and with gladness of heart uh -huh. for the abundance of all things. So we don't seek the Lord for the abundance of everything. We're not keeping his commandments. He, there's not only are there curses, but there are blessings. If you walk in his ways, he will bless you. But we're not walking in his ways. Yet. Go ahead. Verse 48. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemy. Hold on. See that? Therefore shall you serve your enemy. Bring it out. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. See that? Mm -hmm. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Right. So he sent the other nations against us for our disobedience. He's using them to punish us. Right. So there's only one way to get them off your back. You got to please him. That's it. You got to please him. Amen. That's why these people do everything under the sun unto us and they get away with it. Amen. Watch this. Keep going. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Now tell me if this happened to our people. Watch this. In hunger and so, in thirst. So in, when you need food, when you need water, go ahead. And in nakedness. When you need clothing, go ahead. And in want of all things. But anything you need, anything you want, go ahead. And he shall put a yoke of iron. Upon thy neck. Ooh. Did they put yokes of iron upon our neck? Hey, no, the they did, right? Yes, they did. Read it, read it, um, read it. Hung on men. Read it from the top. Watch this from the top. Hung on men. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore, shall thy serve thine enemy. So you going to serve your enemies. Who did we have to serve when we were brought over here? Mm, the white man. So what's the Bible calling the white man? Oh, my God. There you go. Exactly. There you go. I'm there. Bring it out. Yeah, I'm all the way there. Which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed thee. That's right. So when they released us, from chattel slavery, mm -hmm. we're destroyed in our minds. Come on now. Not knowing who we are. Come we on. call ourselves black. Uh -huh. We call ourselves Negro. African, African American. Right. That's oh. not who we are. Ooh, child of God. Oh, boy. Yeah. Of God. But what are the children of God called? Oh, glory to God. What are the children of God called? Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Come on. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Come on. Come on. Preach it. Let me see. Let me hear it. Dr. Bob. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Watch this. This is who he's talking to. Go ahead. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto all Israel. Yes. So what are we? People who have been dumped on for years. There you go. The Israelites. There you go. It's our turn now, though, y'all. Look at my men up here, y'all. Look at my men. Look at my men. Something I've been praying right, go, for. Go to, um, God has brought it to me. Yeah, go to, uh, I mean, flourish. Yeah, go back. Go yes, back to this is what I'm looking at. This, this is my sons I need to bring over here. I got grown sons. 
I want to see them stand amongst you because they believe in God. Mm. Let's start a nation, a young and old. Let's bring them together. You know what I mean? Let's uplift one another. And I tell you, the women be behind you with just that. Trust and believe. You got a strong woman right here. And I got many that follow me. Trust and believe that will lift you up. And I'm going to lift I-S-O-C up, Israelite saints of Christ. What? All glory goes to God. Thank you. It's, really not, it's not just us. It's there's, all glory. There's many organizations that the most that, high. But let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Y'all standing out here? Mm -hmm. Willingly? Ain't mm -hmm. nobody twisting your hand. You ain't asking for nothing. But the word and giving God all the glory. God is smiling down on you. Because this is not something like you said that started with you guys. This is something he's building up all over the nation. All over the world. All of, yeah, this nation, this all universe. Let's say universe, because yeah. he created it, okay? And this is something that I've been praying on. Y'all don't know. Y'all touch my heart today. All praise. Uh, Y'all touch my all, all glory. All praise to the most high. Hey, he gets it. Not alone. Right. Watch this. Watch what the Lord said to his prophet. Come on, Jake. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. That's Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. Yeah. Ye gather together, O, o nation, nation not, not desire. desire. O nation not desire. They don't oh. desire us. Right. That's why we on the bottom. Now give me uh, Genesis 49 and 1. Okay. So, our forefather Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, he told us the same thing. Come on, Jake. He had his 12 sons right there. But he says it twice. Why does he say it twice? Because it's a message to us today. That's right. The whole Bible is written for us today. That's right. We've been through all these punishments. Now it's time for God's people to wake up and return to him in spirit and in truth. That's right. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. In the last days. Go ahead. Verse 2. Gather yourselves together. See? And hear ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. That's right. right. This prophecy. This prophecy. A lot of the scriptures you look at in the Bible, they're twofold. Now, um, give me verse 68. And I'm going to show you some more curses. Go to verse 13, I believe. Yeah, read 13. Start at 13. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26, and verse 13. I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt. Notice that the Bible never says he is the God of someone else. Amen. Right. It's always right. the children of Israel. Amen. Right. Amen. Go ahead. That ye should not be their bondmen. Mm -hmm. And I have broken the bands of your yoke mm -hmm. and made you upright. But if they will hearken unto me and, and will not do all these commandments, right. and if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, uh -huh. so that you will not do all my commandments, but that ye will break my covenant. Mm -hmm. I also will do this unto you. Right, so he said, uh, it's another place he's saying, if you don't do the commandments that I have given you, mm -hmm. there's a, something's going to happen to you. Go ahead. I will even appoint over you terror. Terror. When, he, when our people getting shot down by the cops, isn't that terror? Right. Amen. When we getting shot down by each other, right. that's terror. Amen. He appointed that over us. Because what, what we want is peace. Right. That's what Christ is teaching. Peace. You keep the commandments, the Father will give you peace. That's why we say shalom. Peace be unto you. Go ahead. Consumption. In the burning age. Oh. That, oh, it's a disease. Oh, go ahead. That shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. Go to 17. Watch this. Do these people love us or do they hate us? I don't care what they say. It's shown by their actions. They hate us. Watch this. Go ahead. And I will set my face against you. Uh huh. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. They, they kill us. Go ahead. They that hate they you. They that hate you. Woo. Go ahead. Shall reign over you. They reign over us. We're subject to them. Amen. They that hate you. I don't care what they say. They hate you. The Lord's saying that they hate you. Right, right. 
Uh, finish that verse out. And ye shall flee when not pursue of you. Right now, start at 31. Start back at 31. So Jerusalem is our, Israel is our land. Jerusalem was our home city. That's our capital. Watch this. And I will make your cities waste mm. and bring your centuries unto desolation. And I will not smell the savior of your sweet order. Go ahead. And I will bring the land to desolation. He did that. The Romans came in 70 AD and put right. to death over one million of our people. Right. And they carried a bunch of us into slavery. And we scattered and ran into Africa. And your enemies which dwell therein shall be astonished at it. Right, they look at us with astonishment. We God, they know we God's people. They look at us like, damn. These are supposed to be God's people. Look at the way they behave. Look at all the things that's happening to them. Because God brought it upon us. Go ahead. And I will scatter you among the heathen. See, we got scattered in slavery. Scattered. Yep, go ahead. And will draw out a sword after you. Our enemies have slain us with the sword. Go ahead. And your land shall be desolate. Uh -huh. And your cities waste. Go ahead. Then shall the land enjoy her Sabbath. As long as it live, lieth desolate, and ye be in your enemy's land. Right, we are in our enemy's <laughs> land. And then this didn't even belong to them, they took it. God gave them authority over the earth to punish us. Watch, go ahead. Even then shall the land rest mm -hmm. and enjoy her Sabbath as long as it live, lieth, desolate, it shall rest, because it did not rest in your Sabbath. Right, because we was breaking the Sabbath. But right now, even though there's people in the land, the land is desolate, because we belong there. Right. It's supposed to be righteousness there, right. not wickedness. Go ahead. When you dwell upon it, and upon them that are left alive of you, I will send a faintness into their heart. Hold on. Woo. He will send a faintness into our hearts. Come on, Aren't we the biggest, strongest, fastest people Woo. on the planet? Yes, God. So how can some puny white man yes, take control God. of us like that? Because yes, God. God did it for yes, our God. disobedience. Go ahead. Bring it out. In the lands of their enemies. In the lands of your enemies. Go ahead. And the sound of a shaking leaf mm. shall, seek, shall chase them. Right, so we'd be scared of anything. We were scared of anything. Running from masks. Running from them slave catchers. Go ahead. And they shall flee as a flea from a sword. And they shall fall when none pursue it. And they shall fall one upon another as it were before a sword. When none pursue it, and ye shall have no power to stand before your enemy. No power. Yeah, keep going. Keep and going. you and ye. And ye shall perish among the heathen, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. That's what's happening to us right now. But there's always all this stuff. He brought all this stuff upon us, but there's a flip side to it. Keep going. And they that are left of you shall pine away in their iniquity in your enemies' land. Right. Uh, go ahead. And also in the iniquities of their fathers shall they pine away with them. Right, the reason our fathers have taught us wrong, so we're following their ways, which is just keeping us in this perpetual condition. Go ahead. If they shall confess their iniquity. Hold on, if they shall confess their sins. Go ahead. And the iniquity of their fathers. And the, the sins of our fathers. Go ahead. With the trespass. Uh -huh. Which they trespass against me, and they, and, and that also, they have walked contrary unto me. We have walked contrary to the Lord, not with them. We ain't been walking in the commandments. Go ahead. And that I also have walked contrary unto them. So he's walking against us. Go ahead. And have brought them into the land of their enemies. Uh huh. And then. 
their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, and they then accept the punishment of their iniquity, uh -huh. then will I remember my covenant with Jacob. Then he gonna remember his covenant. Just like he remembered in Egypt and got us out of there. He's gonna remember that. All right, you can drop that. Give me first Kings eight. Give me forty five. This is the book of first Kings, chapter eight, verse forty five. Pay close attention. Go ahead. Then hear thou in heaven their prayer and their supplication. Uh -huh. And maintain their cause. Uh -huh. If they sin against thee. If they sin against thee. Oh, give me Daniel, um, Give me Daniel 9 and 7. No, give me, I need verse 11. If they sin against thee, we'll, show, make, this, we'll make this quick point, then we're going right back to it. The book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 11. Ye, all Israel, have transgressed thy law. All Israel, all Israel has transgressed God's law. Go ahead. Even by the pardon that they might not obey thy voice. Right, we didn't obey his voice, go ahead. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us in the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God. So he said, therefore, therefore the curses is poured upon Israel. Was that it for that verse? Yeah, go ahead, finish that verse. Because we have sinned against him. Right, we, Israel, have sinned against our God. Now, go uh, pick back up. Book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, and verse 46. If they sin against thee, uh -huh. for there is no man that sinneth not, uh -huh. and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to their enemy. Hold on. So you hear that, sir? You hear that? Sir, read that part again. Watch this. And thou be angry with them. If they sin against thee, and thou be angry with them, because the Lord is angry with us. Uh, Psalm 7 and 11, real quick. He's angry with us because we're breaking his commandments. Read that part again. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. Uh -huh. If they sin against thee. Uh -huh. We sin against him. For there, for there is no man that sinneth not. There's no Israelite that did not sin. Go ahead. And thou be angry with them. And thou be angry with them. Angry with us. Watch this. Book of Psalm, chapter 7, verse 11. God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. He's angry with the wicked every day. Those breaking his commandments. You can drop that. Go ahead. And deliver them to their enemy. And delivered us unto our enemies. Right, we're on YouTube and we're on Facebook. Somebody, somebody, one of these brothers can give you the information. Saints of Christ is the YouTube. He, he gave you to What Bible are y'all using right here? 1611 King James, the original. It has 80 books in it. That's a 311? 1611. 1611. 1611. 1611. 1611. 1611. King James. Matter of fact, what did I show it to? We're talking about Bible. We're talking about the same thing. Open, open it up and let her see the contents. It's 80 books. 80 books. They took 14 out over here. Right. Okay. Whatever you give, you give. 
Don't let nobody, no woman, no sex, demoralize you. You do it, they do it enough of that. See y'all. Give me uh, Ezekiel 34, the last serious. verse. Y'all gotta stand we, up. We, we teach this. A man, stand up. The, the man is responsible. Y'all gotta stand the, up. The man is the leader. But in that, in that, let me, let me cut y'all off. In that, then y'all need to do what God created y'all to be. Right. Like forgiveness and new mercies and graces every day. Y'all don't have to worry about what happened yesterday or last year or three years ago or ten years, what y'all did. Because God gives mercy and grace every day. New mercies. So all you gotta do is go back to your original and apologize and you feel you just don't want that person and keep it moving. Because God already forgave you all You gotta speak it out to them though. Sit them down and say, listen sister, I know me and you ain't had a good relationship in a long time. But we got children that we need to come together with if you're not together. They're looking at you. We gotta grab these kids now that's this age because some of them 11 to 15, they're not lost, but they have already seen a lot. So let's get them. They are lost. All but of we us still, are lost. But we all know what I'm saying. We got to catch these. Right. right. Their mind is still young. They're always influenced by what they see in the community and what they want. So Watch they go out there fast living it. Watch this, sister. We know oh, the men, the men, the men have to build up the nation. Go ahead and read that right there. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34 and verse 31. Watch what the Lord says. And ye, my flock of my pasture, are men. Right. I am your God, saith the Lord the God. The men are the leaders. Right. You got all this stuff about MGTOW and all this madness. Christ is the alpha male. Hey. We got to pattern ourselves after him. What? Give me up 1 Kings 2 and 1. Yeah. 1 Kings 2 and 1. What does it mean? What does it mean to be a man? On, what does it mean to be a man? It means take right. Let's see what the, let's see what the Bible says. That's right. That's let's see word. what the Bible says. First Kings. Chapter 2 and verse 1. Read. Now the days of David drew not that he should die. And he charged Solomon, his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Meaning he going to die just like every other man. Go ahead. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. So be strong and show yourself a man. How? Right. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. Keep the charge of the Lord thy God. Amen. That's Keep his law, statutes, and commandments. That's how you be a man. Read. That's to right. walk in his ways. Again, there it is. To walk in his ways. Amen. Keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Give me Genesis 18, 19. Go ahead. To keep his statutes mm -hmm. and his commandments mm -hmm. and his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses. That's right. how you be a man. That's right. Now, go ahead, bro. The book of Genesis, chapter 18 and verse 19. For I know him, that he will command his children. Hold on. So this is talking about Abraham. Our forefather Abraham. Go ahead. And his household after him. He know that he will keep charge of his household. Go ahead. And they shall keep the way of the Lord. They're going to keep the way of the Lord. It's saying the same thing. Go ahead. To do justice and judgment that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. So he's going to lead his house. That's why the Lord chose him. Amen. Now, how did they bring us over here, sir? How though? On oh, ships. Yeah. All right, you know what to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. Come on now. Bring Our me. enemies brought us over here on slave ships. Go ahead. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with the ships. Meaning bringing you into bondage again with ships. Ooh, say that again. Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with, with ships. ships. Meaning bring you into bondage again with, with ships. ships. Give me Exodus 20 and 2. There's a precept for everything in the Bible. So Egypt is synonymous with captivity. He brought us out of captivity. Watch this. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. That's wait, what wait, Egypt wait, is. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? Come on. Hold, 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 hold. I got to get that. I can get that. Yeah, I was on point. You got that. You're going to send me that video, too. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't mind. I got the post. I really do. Yeah, a blessing to my heart this morning. I just want to let y'all know that 
I'm a girl that's a woman up too. I gotta I have to. I have to. We have a women's group too. And uh, I tell you, I lift y'all up every morning. And this is what God for to fruition. He will bring that. If you are sincere and you take care of his business, or y'all he already got y'all. He's taking care of y'all right now. Because y'all doing something out here to heat a pool. And he is smiling down on y'all. Well, well, the Lord said, go out to the highways and byways and right. prepare my people to come in. We're being, we're being obedient. There you go. Watch this. I'm going to keep going. Though. I'm gonna, it's some stuff I need to show you before you go. Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold, sold into your enemies. enemies. For bond men. Hold on. You shall be sold to your enemies. Woo. So when we got here, they sold us to our enemies. For bond men, slave men, go ahead. And bond women. Uh -huh. And no man shall buy you. So no man going to save you. Amen. That's why Christ is our Savior. Amen. Now, we keep reading all this about our enemies. And no man shall save thee. So what does it mean to be saved? What you got to do is confess. That you accept Jesus the Christ as your Lord and Savior wherever you is. It's but not too late. That's on your deathbed you can accept Him and you're gonna have the glory of God. That's for those. Okay. That's for those okay. Israelites that's keeping commandments. Mm -hmm. You now have to believe on Him. It goes a lot more. It goes a lot deeper than that. Right. Now, um, so what does it mean to be saved? Right. It means to be yes. obedient to the word. But if we if we've been sold to our enemies, we serving our enemies, our enemies killing us, what does it mean to be saved? Tell me, tell me about it. I'm just saying you have to be obedient to the word. Okay, God, I'm gonna show you. Be before be, before God I show promises, you God promises us. Luke 21, 24. Before I show you what it means, I'm gonna show you something else that Christ said. Because he said that we was gonna be sold into captivity all across the earth. Yeah, he he said that. But why they don't why don't know nobody preaches about that? But he left the comforter. That's what's going on in y'all right now. Right. The that Holy spirit, spirit is upon us. That's what's on y'all right now. Oh praise. He uh, leading, guiding, and directing y'all right now. That's the Holy Spirit. Getting our people to repent. Hallelujah. Watch this, sis. Go ahead. Verse 24. Watch what Christ say out of his mouth. St. Luke, chapter 21, verse 24. Read. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. We fell by the edge of the sword. The Romans came and killed our people. Remember I said they killed a million of us. Say that again. Read it again. St. Luke, chapter 21, verse 24. Mm -hmm. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Mm -hmm. And shall be led away captive. Captive. Led away captive. Go ahead. Into all nations. Into all nations. That's what happened to the Israelites. This book is written for us. Amen. So now, what does it mean to be saved? Luke chapter 1, start at verse 68. Yeah, that's right. We've been sold to our enemies. We serve in our enemies. So what is real salvation that the Bible is talking about? Go ahead. This is the book, the same Luke. Chapter 1, verse 68. Read it up. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. See, New Testament. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Go ahead. For he hath visited and redeemed his, his people. people. Redeemed his, his people. people. Go ahead. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us. For us. And that horn of salvation is the Christ. He's the king. Go ahead. In the house of his servant David. Uh-huh. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. Because it was prophesied by all the prophets, even Moses, that the Christ was going to come. Go ahead. Which have been since the world began. Uh -huh, come on. That we, that should, we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from our enemies. That's what salvation is. Yes. Being saved from them that hate you. Go ahead. And from the hand of all that hate us. And see, and from the hand of all that hate us. Keep going. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers. Mercy. That mercy he promised. That mercy, that mercy. mercy he promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Go ahead. And to remember his holy covenant. Uh, see, remember his holy covenant. Why is it saying this in the New Testament? Because it's for it's only for us. Go ahead. The oath which he swore to our father to, Abraham. To our fathers. And as you read in the New yeah. Testament, you'll keep seeing that. Yeah. Our fathers. The gospel to our fathers. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. Verse 74. That he would grant unto us uh -huh. that we being delivered out of the hands of our enemies. We being delivered out of the hands of our enemies. Go ahead. Might serve him without fear. Might serve him without fear. The other nations don't want us to serve him. They know when we do, we get our power back. That's right. We become the rulers of this earth again. We return to being the rulers of this earth. Well, you are. We are the sons of God. Glory to God. Go ahead. In holiness right and righteousness. Right in holiness and righteousness. There's only one way to be holy. One way to be righteous. That's to keep the commandments keep the in the face of Christ. Go ahead. Before him all the days of our life. That's right. All the days of our life. Go ahead. And thou child shall be called the prophet of the highest. So John was the prophet of the highest. He prepared the way for Christ. Go ahead. For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his way. Uh huh. Come on. To give knowledge of salvation. To give knowledge of salvation. So, if we're being punished, if we're being put to death by our enemies and those that hate us, what is that knowledge of salvation? Go ahead. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people. Unto his people. By the remission of their sins. By the forgiveness of our sins for us breaking God's covenant. Me and me. I gotta go, brother. Okay. I'm telling you, I got to go. Okay. I can stay up here all day and watch you guys. I really can't.